you doing? Good. Seven inches. <laughs> I'm unarmed. That's a nice one. That is a sword. That's a pretty that's sweet. A, that's a weapon. You have some skill with the blade. Today we're just setting up to come back in uh, a few days and then we're going to stay for a longer amount of time. We're just doing a lot of the setup work as like a gift to ourselves in the future. It'll be so nice to come here and have the whole thing set up. A bunch of firewood split, especially if it's bitter cold when we do show up. Yeah. That'll be super nice. So. It'll be nice. Uh, we've got, we'll have the tent already brought in. Oh, yep. Less stuff to haul in when we come. <laughs> Send her down. There it is. <laughs> Lovely. Beauty. Dunk. We've done all the chores basically and it's so exciting now to think that we get to come back to this little paradise, be covered in snow and just enjoy it. Hardly do any work, just keep up our firewood supply, it's going to be sweet. That should do us for a couple of days. Hopefully. See you in a couple of days. <laughs> Smells like wood in here. <laughs> oh, that's better.
the fan. It's going to blow the heat around the tent nicely. Ice is pretty deep now. It's close to two feet. Sir, huh? you spoil me, you know. That's yeah, a nice piece. Sweet. I'm cutting these into splitting sizes while it's attached. That way it just, it's stable and holds it for me. It's pretty convenient. We'll bring the sled and pull them back to camp for chopping. There it goes, but it didn't timber. Yep. <laughs> Come on, you. There it is. Okay. Thank you. Okay. With any luck, that'll be the end of the heavy duty sawing on this trip. That's the rest of it. Red squirrel. <laughs> hey, buddy. You coming looking for some crumbs? Yeah, here's a button. 
We brought in a few chunks of chaga from home. Got a good stash there. And we're just gonna start brewing up some chaga tea. Okay, we've done our firewood prep, and we've got some lovely chaga. All right, it's chaga time. And we're doing it hot tea, toddy style with some maple crown royale. All right, and pop that in there. It's really hot. Mm. It's hot, but it's good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That goes down good after a day in the cold. Yeah, it's finally warming up in here. It took a bit for the stove to get hot enough to throw heat, but... Yeah. This is a perfect winter drink. Mm -hmm. uh, we're settling into bed. It's very blustery outside. And uh, we went out just to go pee and brush our teeth before bed, and it was a shock. It didn't feel that warm in here, but it really is a difference, so, yeah, I'm really cozy. Good night. Okay, what do we have outside this morning? <clears throat> Minus 11. Still quite mild. Around here it can easily get to minus 20, minus 30, so that is not, not bad at all. Gearing up with a pumpkin spice latte. We had one yesterday, it was actually pretty good. It was the first pumpkin spice latte I've ever had in my life. Out for the daily trip to the watering hole. And it is absolutely gorgeous. What a day to be out exploring. Ah, the true beauty of a hot tent. <laughs> dry snow pants and mitts. Everything dry. I've actually tried getting into this lake twice before and failed. There's a creek that you have to cross at some point. There's just rugged undulating terrain and then lots of trees and bush. Especially if you get down into the creek then it's really thick and bushy. So hopefully we can break through today. I just want to lay eyes on it on a map. It's one of those captivating lakes that just looks perfect. I think we're going to cross the creek here because this side it's just rough. It gets really rugged. If we can carry on through here, then I think we could continue. We're well off track here. We've been forced to go east of where we wanted because it's just impenetrable balsam fir forest that way. But we finally found, we just kept taking the path of least resistance. And now we found somewhere clearer where we can cut across back to, back to get on our bearing. We're almost there. This is the creek. This must be a beaver dam. Must be a big one. Oh my goodness. I've dreamt about this lake on maps for so long. Look at it. Oh man. We did it! We made it! Well, that was a tough journey. Oh, so glad you hung in there. Would not have been the same to see this alone. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> can I, can, can... Wow.
wonder when the last time someone was on this lake. Yeah, on foot. It's probably been a while. Yep. Okay, back we go. This is really nice now. Welcome back, we know where we're going. We've got a packed trail to follow. Oh yeah, finally back to our food and water. Oh yeah. So nice. Get the champagne chilling for this evening. And this men girls pressure cooker. Whoa! <laughs> Is absolutely loaded with veggies for a huge veggie soup. I froze them in sideways. I gotta let it freeze this way so that we can pour hot water down into the bottom. And that way the water will kind of boil down there rather than just burning those vegetables on the bottom. But that's a massive amount of soup once we add the stock. Oh, that feels nice getting a big fire going. Yeah, it does. So much less finicky than inside the stove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're getting the hang of the stove. Oh, I just got a whiff of the soup. Yeah? Even frozen, it smells phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that. Oh yeah, oh man, <laughs> that steam. Yeah. I love the mangroves because the steam that comes out of it smells incredible. We're ready, it's game time. Right. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. oh man, that smells good. It smells like stuffing. It does smell like stuffing. Oh, oh it's getting foggy. That's a soup. <laughs> Mm. Dunk the bun in butter, dunk it in the soup, and enjoy. There we go. Cheers, hon. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Cheers. Twenty-four. Pretty blustery night out there again, and we're uh, we're kind of feeling in the swing of this hot tent life right now. Just three days in, we get a couple more, um, but it's feeling good. The canvas is just swaying around in the breeze, but we're well protected and, and warm in here with the stove. It's just a really good, simple feeling. Really enjoying it. But that's it for us tonight. See you in the morning. Finally time for fishing. This lake has burbot and lake trout. I've got my heavy duty rod here, which I'm going to leave as a set line. You're allowed two lines in Ontario. And I'm gonna put this nice glob of fish intestines, kind of almost rotting. <laughs> and hopefully something will come by and just inhale that. Okay, first drop. For lunch today, we have steak, chili, and garlic bread. Um, I put a little bit, that's hot of course. I put a little bit of water in the pot, just so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. 
looking forward to this actually, it smells really good. And then I'm gonna find myself a spatula. What should I do? Bread's toasted, chilies heated. We're ready to have some lunch. The wind is up out there. It's it's not cold, but the wind is uh, chilling. So this is this is a luxury to come back into this. And I've just been relaxing in here all morning, reading my book. So it's good life. The whole morning's been a luxury. <laughs> the fishing's pretty boring today, so I'm just. Really enjoying watching things on the camera. I think a uh, little sculpin just came along, which is a favorite food of lake trout. Now I just need the lake trout to come by, but anyway, I uh, came shallow here in six, seven feet of water just to get a better view of the camera and be able to see the bottom, be able to see my lure. And it's quite a lot of fun. Really a new dimension of ice fishing. Now there are a couple of minnows, maybe shiners, it's hard to tell, uh, it'd be interesting to see it when I get home. But this is, this is actually a thrill. Recording fish is something like underwater, obviously, is something I've had an interest in for a long time. It's interesting, there's suddenly an explosion of snow fleas. They're all over, they just, they make the snow look dirty. But then when you look at the snow more closely, it's full of little moving specks. There you go. That is a lot of penne. That's a lot. <laughs> Probably didn't need to add that last bit. No. Oh well. Hope you're hungry. Yeah. Bit of red wine, Very pasta. Lady in the Tramp vibes tonight. <laughs> Last night flew by. Mm -hmm. mm. It's funny to think how much we intended on doing here, and uh, the the demands of winter just take up your entire short day. <laughs> we wanted to build a Quincy. Um, you were thinking of a polar plunge thought I'd have a lot more time for fishing <laughs> um, and other things. Uh, chaga hunt, you mm -hmm. never even went. No, so. I didn't even go for a chaga hunt. <laughs> it's funny, the days are so short and there's so much to do. Yeah, yeah, lots it, of time processing, keeping up with firewood and stuff like that and then a little bit of time for other stuff. It makes you appreciate uh, how much energy your home produces. Yes. To heat water and heat your house. like. It really puts it in perspective. It's an incredible amount. Today we're going to make ice cream from snow. I've got four cups of fresh fallen snow there, a can of condensed milk, need a tablespoon of vanilla, and a third of a cup of sugar which we're going to substitute uh, these honey sticks with. Need a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to pour it into the snow. 
Mix it in there. Wow, it's a lot. Looking more like ice cream already. <laughs> okay, it's been about 45 minutes. It looks pretty ice creamy. A little soupy, but it's not that cold out today. It's probably just a few degrees below freezing. Cheers. Mm hmm. That's ice cream. That's ice cream. That is actually ice cream. <laughs> it's excellent. Wow. It's I a was kind of skeptical. Cream. <laughs> the honey's good in there too. Yeah. Actually. All we need now, a little bit of chocolate. Gourmet. That is good. Mm -hmm. Come back. <laughs> Finishing our trip with ice cream. Pretty good way to, to end it. And finally caught the little vole that's been raiding our camp red-handed this morning and funny enough he wasn't raiding our food he was just chewing on some lichen that was attached to some birch bark <laughs> a good little vole Right. How are you looking? Still standing. Still standing. Needs a little bit of restructuring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. It smells nice in here. It smells like the old fort. It smells like a cabin. Yeah. <laughs> A log cabin. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> I'm gonna come a little closer. Yeah. Feels nice. Oh yeah. So we found our spot for the Quincy right here against this fallen tree, kind of a cool spot. We're on the edge of the lake, so there's technically ice beneath us, but plenty frozen. That's no concern at all. Now it's just time to pile it up. So that took a lot out. Yeah. Right. But now we get to leave it for tomorrow. Not too bad. It's nice to have two nights and be able to break up the work. Yeah, it big, is. You know, all the snow we just piled here, most of it has to be dug back out. <laughs> yep. And we got a little skating rink in our front yard. <laughs>
welcome home, honey. Hello, thank you. How was your day at the mill? It was a long day, but productive. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very satisfying. You look like you need a hot meal and a stiff drink. You bet. Frozen. Is it hot? Really hot? Yes. Too hot? Yes. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <clears throat> it's slimy. Yes. It's satisfying. <laughs> I love the sound of crunchy snow when it's cold like this. You can see the sunrise hitting the top of that hill. Bit of color to the sky, but we're on the wrong side for sunrise. Oh, yeah. As expected, about minus 18 last night, which is as cold as we have ever cold camped. I was gonna keep the stove going, but uh, and set an alarm. I did, but I set an alarm too long one time as a test and it was out. So at that point we were just cold camping. It's time to get it rocking again, it is cold. All right, it's time to dig this thing out. I hope it's big enough. It will be. It, it looks small to me today, but before we built them quite large and it felt like it was a detriment. And the last time I tried to dig one out, it collapsed on me. Ah! John, John, John! I'm here. Okay, thank God. So I'm gonna be doing it again today for redemption. Aaron dug out our very first Quincy ever and that worked great. So, gotta redeem myself today. And hopefully not get crushed. Can you block the hole again, please? Thank you. Okay, I don't know if the GoPro will pick this up, but I'm starting to see light here, which is, along with the sticks, another indicator that that's uh, the, the place to stop digging. Okay, I'm upright, so oh, I feel so claustrophobic. Yeah, because yeah, I can just barely get upright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig it out a bit more before I do that. So we have a problem. I think it's too short. Like, just look at me here, sitting like this. You at least need to be able to comfortably go like this, so you can move around in there, especially with two people trying to get there and sleep in there. Yeah, I think we bought shit again. You know, like if we're hitting our head on the roof, we're gonna be dropping snow all over our gear. John thinks it's like a coffin in here. I think it's like a cozy little home. He's a lot bigger than me though. <laughs> I got a full wingspan, <laughs> kind of. Ah, you scared me! <laughs> I thought it fell on me! <laughs> so, we just put all that effort into making a snow fort. <laughs> Not gonna sleep in there. So, it, would be, it would just be a coffin. A little too it, tight. We didn't es forgot to estimate extra size for John's length. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> we got a hot tent right here. It would just be ludicrous to sleep in <laughs> in this thing. But I'm we'll right. have some fun in it and and eat lunch. We're starving. Yeah, it's yeah. lunch time. As you can see, it's not uh, it's not big enough in here. 
we could fit one of us without my sleeping pad would not fit in here. Aaron's might and she could fit in here, but yeah. Just wasn't big enough. Lesson learned. We're getting we're learning more about Quincy's every time, so it's okay. The light's coming through all green now. It looks super cool. There we go. It's it was reminding me how quiet and peaceful it is in here. Absolutely no noise comes in from the outside. You could have a freight train go by and you probably wouldn't know. Well, I think we're gonna head to the hot tent, get a fire roaring. Pretty good. I know. It'd be really good on toast. Mm-hmm. Cheers to being warm. Cheers. And dry, drying out. And headspace. And headspace. It's critical. Mmm. Well, it's a good batch, actually. <laughs> Great stars again tonight. It's supposed to be cloudy, but it's just been beautiful. Time to get back in that nice warm hot tent. Minus 18 again this morning, and I stayed up all night. Well, woke up every hour with an alarm to keep the fire going, and it's such a comfort. I mean, being out here this morning in the cold and just around the corner here, there's a stiff north breeze. It's it's cold, and it makes me really happy we're not waking up in in this. <laughs> it's a cool experience, but the hot tent's the best. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Man, I love winter sometimes. Anyone in there? No. Toning summer sausage. That's a first for me. These icicles remind me of bats hanging in a cave. I don't know how well you can see this front one, but it's really cool because it's not even attached here or under here. So huh. I don't really know how it formed. That's crazy. See, nothing there, nothing there. Like a magic trick. Yeah. This one's cool, but these ones look like bats to me. <laughs> That's neat. Here we, oh my goodness, that's terrifying. That I should probably you, move. It has such a sharp point, it would, just, <laughs> it would impale you. I'd be severed. Oh wow, look over here. It's just such a weird, here. it's like a, a waterfall that froze. Even just this shelf is impressive. It's pretty eerie being under it.
was extremely fun. No one is ever going to come here. This is already a back lake. No one would think to walk up here. So it's not like we're just destroying something amazing that other people could have enjoyed for the record. Let's do one more. Do you want to do it? Yeah. All right. It's way too satisfying. Oh. We are we are children. Yeah, we are. I wouldn't change a thing. Me neither. It's eerie how clear that that ice is there, eh? It is. It's coming. Ah! <laughs> Beautiful. You can see it. I don't. You probably can't tell on here, but we can see at least a foot if not more down the crack. You can see there all the way in that's a crack through the ice so it shows how deep. I bet if you've never really walked on lake ice before, this might seem like, what if that breaks? This is rock solid. You could drive a pickup truck on this. There's, there's no chance of us going through this thick ice. It's at least at least two feet we can see, and I'm pretty sure it's probably more like three. It's time for us to go finish packing up, and then we're gonna earn ourselves some nachos with our haul out. morning it is minus 26 feels like minus 34 so we're bundled up we're heading to camp we got a four kilometer hole in about two and a half miles and we're gonna take Cassia Aaron's sister on her first winter camping trip it was a hard trek in today yeah heavy snow yeah all right we're at the lake the wind is up which is what's making this brutally brutally cold right now and there's this gritty fine snow blasting our faces so Kind of getting like sandblasted here, so we're gonna get going, keep our uh, our body temperatures up with just exertion. These are some tough conditions. This is Kessia's first winter camping trip ever. And it's, you know, minus 25 now, feels like minus 35. And this wind is sandblasting us with these little grains of snow. So uh, it's beautiful, this is awesome. I love this I'm part of winter, but it's a tough way for Kess to start. Hopefully she's doing all right. Okay, be right there. Try not to get sweaty on your haul in, but it's impossible. Hauling these loads through heavy snow, you can't not sweat. So we gotta keep going, keep working, and get the, the hot tent going with the raging fire. I came in here last week to set this up and bring in our new stove. So it was nice we didn't have to haul in those items at least. All right, here's the new stove, the Nico Alaskan. 
in our Atuk Alaskan tent. And this is gonna keep us warm. Kess is cold. <laughs> All right, you guys lighting her up? Oh yeah. All right, it's uh, midday and it's still minus 20. You good? Light her up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can feel it already. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> The tent, the top of the tent is already steaming too. So this is a huge difference. Oh man. The G stove. Oh, the G stove would have been done doing nothing right now. No, it's so small. It just, it, it's a great stove, great quality, but the size isn't it's not for adequate. this type of weather. All right, now we are cooking. 40 degrees Celsius here by the stove. As soon as you move out to the exterior walls, it's not nearly that warm. Steam coming off the boots. Best sound in the world when you need it. Oh, it's a dream. Aaron would typically use the kite with a snowboard and it would pull her all around, just like surfing on water. But it's also just a kite if you want to have some fun. This is getting pretty deep. Look at them shift. That's weird. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna shift right <laughs> off the snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Quite a bit of build up. There's a lot of slush on there. <laughs> so we've got three nice chunks of chaga from our stash at home. Just gonna plop those in the pot there. And when we come back, we'll have some nice hot chaga tea. Fat Woody. Sweet. You ready? Give her a push, yeah. Give me a mountain of snow. Oh, it's hung up, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, it is about six o'clock and we're finally done our work. A good pile to see us through this cold night. And that chaga tea is ready. Got some honey in there. And Cassia's first chaga. It's pretty nice. It's earthy. Earthy, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Warm. Yeah, warm. <laughs> <laughs> Anything warm is good. Man, for your first day of winter camping, this was a tough one. A tough one. <laughs> yeah, we didn't uh, ease you into it. No. Mm -mm. What did you do it again? Or you got your experience and you're done? I, I might do it again at a different site. Mm-hmm. Different temperature? Mm-hmm. It's just, it was just to trek in with how deep the snow was. Mm -hmm. It was really hard. It's nice to be able to get out in the winter. Mm-hmm. Change things for us a lot. Oh, yeah. Being able to camp in the winter is like just a huge boost. Six months without it was always awful. All right, these two are settling into bed. I'm gonna stay up a little longer. I'm still from the stove tonight. The wind and snow blasted us all night. You can see this side is all covered in snow. This side's all clear. Decent night overall. Could be worse. I mean, it was minus 25 and we stayed warm. The stove did a great job, so. Guess first thoughts on first night? Thank you for keeping the fire going. <laughs> You're welcome. It was good. It was nice to be warm inside, but definitely like an intermittent sleep. Yeah, yeah that's, that sums it up. Mm -hmm. Intermittent sleep. Mm -hmm. Watering hole got totally snowed over last night. The blowing snow filled in all the gaps now. It's knee deep again. Being out here gives you an appreciation for so much stuff, like turning on the taps, turning up the heat. It's all so easy at home. Take it for granted sometimes. It's afternoon now, still in the minus 20s. We're packed up, it's time to head out. We're back at the Quincy we built from last time. It's pretty cool. Haven't been in yet. Let's see what she looks like in here. Oh, it's pretty dark. Still held up. And... Nice. We were told this, that it would probably sag in a bit as it settles. And it definitely has. Um, let's see. Hello. So it's still intact, but it's come down, I don't know how much, but probably at least a foot as it settled because um, I was able to sit up, pretty much sit up in here before, and now I can, I don't have the headroom, so uh, I knew that that happens, but it's kind of neat to see. Hey! Hi! How does it look? It looks... It looks cool. You want to come in? No. That's fair. Just get another shot just to show. Yeah, it's really sunk in. You can see my head. Yeah. Can't sit up, so it would definitely be even more claustrophobic for John. And here we go, crawling out. I'm going to try walking on top of the Quincy. It almost for sure should hold. If it didn't, that would be really concerning. <laughs> yeah. Pretty solid. solid. Yep. Right up to the edge of the door. <laughs> wow. Cool. 
leaving camp and heading out on our trek home. Let's hope because we broke a bit of a trail yesterday that it might be a little bit easier. Spectacular morning here for hauling in and past the halfway point to our hot tent camp. Some snowmobiles have come in since the last time we were here, which is actually great because it packs down a nice trail and it makes hauling the sled so much easier by a factor of at least two or three. They've actually gone to a lot of work to establish this because there are even boughs along the edges to mark it. So it's nice, nice to be able to follow this and doing some fishing this weekend, finally. So I'll be camped on this lake for the three days. It's got spectacular cliffs and terrain all around. You can see why I love it. However, the fishing isn't the best. So I'm not hoping to uh, slay fish, as people like to say. I'm just hoping for one or two lake trout. That would, be, that would be great for me. I'd be very happy. There are burbot in here as well, but that is probably not gonna happen. In mean, my experience on this lake in the winter, it's been a tough bite, so do my best. Let's see how we're looking inside first. We've got some snow, left everything up because I knew I'd be back before too, too long. some wood left here from last time that's not processed so I'll start with that. That'll do. Okay, chores are all done. Let's give you a look in here. Got firewood stacked all around. My cook kit. Sleep system, dining ware, a little table made out of a box, <laughs> and a seat from a bucket, my food bag, and just other gear. Should be real cozy. Just beautiful, like a trophy. I'm gonna hang on to this. This will be my my trophy if I get any fish. It's nice under here. That south wind that's supposed to blast me tomorrow is starting to kick up along with some flurries. And it's nice and calm in here. Wow, I'm three feet away from the wall of the cliff and the depth is 71 feet. Got the underwater camera down there. And there's some debris. There's rock. 
and uh, I think I'm just really close to the rock there. That that can't be plant life. It's too deep. It wouldn't grow down there. But there's uh, some debris. No signs of fish yet. No marks on the sonar at all today, so not a great start, but I've uh, got two more days to earn that trophy. Beautiful flurries coming down. It's been really nice being under this kind of a cave, basically, overhanging shelf. Just getting to be out of the wind and snow, but watching it peacefully here. piece of fatwood. Okay, it's about 10 a.m. Wind is picking up and it's gonna get substantially worse. So I'm gonna find one spot to set up and I'm gonna build like a little snow shelter around it to uh, keep me out of the wind or I'm gonna freeze to death today. Little smoke coming out of the chimney. That's nice to see. Someone's looking for his hole. I closed it up. Naturally, he just made a new tunnel. He just came in there. Ran away. Hey! Ready. Finally back to business here. Just setting up a set line with a micro spoon and a preserved shiner.
nothing on the sonar yet, but at least I'm out of the wind and I've got this here for motivation. I know what I'm working for. Oh, this is nice. This is a good setup. I'm really glad I have this wall. At least I'm pretty comfortable. It's now six o'clock and I'm shivering, so I'm gonna call it. It's gonna have to wait. There we go. Didn't burn firewood overnight, so I ended up with a lot extra, but I might be back someday, so I piled it up under those trees to keep it reasonably dry. And until then, it'll be a nice home for a mouse. Or a mole, actually. <laughs> done with this yet. This is a spectacular lake to camp on. The scenery is, is stunning, but the ice fishing leaves a lot to be desired. This is my sixth or maybe even seventh time ice fishing this lake, and I have two lake trout to show for it. Winter can weigh heavy on the mind. It's cold and it's dark, and there's no avoiding that. As the days pass, rather than closer, it sometimes feels like spring gets further away. But I think all can agree that there is beauty here, incredible beauty. Sights, sounds, and smells that won't be found at any other time. And there's still joy to be found too. Joy to be had whether you have weeks, days, or minutes, whether you have a full outfit or just some boots and mittens. That joy is available not just to those who know where to look, but more so those who bother to look in a season that is often spent indoors. Winter is not a prison for the outdoorsy, or if it is, then the inmates hold the keys. To those in their seasonal cells, I say, break out and claim your share of this freedom. There's a fresh world out there, and it's longing for explorers.